On the Sunday before Katrina, moving on actually into New Orleans, you appeared with Mayor Nagin as he announced the first mandatory evacuation in the, city of the, in the history of the city of New Orleans. At the time, the city's population was approximately 484,000. Were you confident that those who could leave the city by their own means, you earlier mentioned contraflow, would, and that the city would be able to securely house those who stayed in the Superdome and the Convention Center? I was hoping that the city could be evacuated 100 percent, which is obviously not a very realistic hope or expectation. But I would have liked to have seen the city emptied completely, and that was my goal. I traveled into New Orleans on Saturday. Uh, I had two press conferences, one in Jefferson Parish and one in Orleans Parish on Saturday, and again on Sunday morning as the final push to try to get the final folks who were who were making decisions at that point, most of them leaning towards staying. We were trying to get those last people out. And there was, you know, adequate transportation. There, you know, there, there, was, there were a lot of things that could happen. The highways were clear. It was not going to be a, a, a difficult journey because the big part of the evacuation had already happened um, on, on Saturday in particular and early Sunday morning. But we were just trying to get the very last people out, give them s as much warning as possible to get to safety. And unfortunately, uh, I'd say about 60,000 people chose not to leave or could not leave. There were, the, there were two levels of decision making there, some who couldn't and some who wouldn't. And then we had another 30 or 40,000 people who absolutely had to stay in the region because of their jobs. We had doctors and nurses in the hospitals, uh, and we had very ill patients in the hospitals. In the past, the hospital's evacuation plan was evacuate in place. They would, they would send anyone home who was able to go home but keep the sickest of the sick there and then also tend to emergency needs for the, the people who are working to, to clear debris and get injured and things like that. So we had people in hotels who got stranded. So the hotel workers really had to stay. Um, the airlines quit flying on Saturday instead of allowing empty planes to come in on Sunday to uh, evacuate tourists who got caught in our hotels. Because every rental was out, there was, there was no transportation, a public transportation that these individual folks could find. So um, that, in a, and probably about 3,000 people were in the hotels and uh, probably 1,000 people or more were in the hospitals. And then, you know, we, we had residents who might not have uh, had transportation or they chose to stay. They, they didn't think it was going to be serious. They, they just wouldn't listen. But no, I was not confident that we would have a 100% evacuation. I was hoping we could, but I didn't have that confidence. I knew we'd have some problems. Was there a delay at all between the bureaucracy of speaking with the president, Mayor Nagin, and ordering the evacuation of the city? Was there any delay? No, in there. That? No, that was. Uh, we had a planned evacuation, pl uh, a pre-planned evacuation program, and it was a staged evacuation. That was the other part of the contraflow replanning. We planned for the low-lying regions like Plaquemine and Saint Bernard Parish to leave first. And so the emphasis was on those regions getting out because what had happened before is all the people coming from the south would get jammed up into the traffic in New Orleans and then nobody could move. So we wanted the low-lying regions not to get caught on the highways in the middle of a hurricane and that was pre-planned. And then the urban centers would follow suit. Um, and uh, it, it, it had to be... Uh, staged that way and all of the parish leaders had signed on the dotted line saying that that they knew this was a sensible way to do it it was a, a little unnerving for some in the end um, um, jefferson parish wanted to evacu uh, call for the evacuation sooner but it it worked when everybody just held to the plan it actually worked quite well